Hi guys, in this video, we are going to learn about how to create a Python program on clothing store management. Okay, so this uh, Python will be your front end and MySQL will be your back end. Uh, so let let me start with this so first uh, we are having import mysql dot connector as i said in the previous uh, videos so this is a code which is used to connect your mysql and python python is a different uh, software and mysql is a different software to connect these two you are using mysql dot connector okay and all the uh, sql queries which we are going to type in sql usually we type in sql we are going to type here in the python itself okay so to connect these you are writing the sql query in python this has to be executed in mysql so to connect those we are using this okay so my db is a variable and my sql dot connector dot connect is a function and you are through this function you are sending the local host user id and password for python to open my sql okay and then you are giving create database if not exist cloth okay usually we will be giving the um, query stating that create database database name okay and what is this if not exist which means if the cloth database is already available in this particular system you no need to create it again okay because uh, while writing the program we used to run the program again and again uh, to check uh, while we are debugging okay so in those cases databases cannot be created with the same name again and again that is multiple times so to avoid that uh, in that case you will be getting error to avoid that we are using this statement if not exist okay and then you are closing all those and then you are creating the table so again the same case goes even here if not exist create table store so my database name is cloth and the table name is store so in this table you are going to have product number product id product name price of the product and stock okay so these are all the two things we are going to um, execute here so next we are going to see the program okay first you are going to have menu function okay so as it is a function we are using def as a keyword to define that so you are defining a function called menu and then when they press y so it will come here if they wanted to continue they have to press yes so only in the case of y you will be working on it otherwise you will be coming out of the program okay so what what are you doing when they press yes so first you are giving the uh, welcome note okay the statement this is a, sim a simple statement which is optional okay and then you are giving five options to your user add record update record delete record display record and then close the program okay so now when they enter the choice when they select number one add data function will be called when they select number two update uh, one function will be called when they select number three delete one function will be called now when they select four display one function will be called when they select number five you'll be displaying the closing the program message and then you are breaking the program which means your program will come out okay and if they enter in uh, any other choice other than these you will be giving the option you'll be stating giving the statement like please check your input because that is not a valid one okay and then again you are asking whether you wanted to continue or not so this is a main menu of our program okay so now let us see all these functions one by one the first one is add data function so whenever we have a database we have to insert value inside the database for that only here we are using this add i add data function okay so in this add data function you are going to have product number product id product name price of the product and the stock okay so all these are being entered by the user and you'll be storing all these in some variables and that will be added into the uh, table store okay and then you are displaying the message value inserted that's all about add data function now you are coming to update one function so you can even have update function okay so here uh, you are just um, uh, getting the product id from the user for which you are going to change the values and then you you are giving the option of the price to be changed so when the price can be changed using this and if you wanted to change any other things you can add over here after this okay and then and then you are updating the table record okay and then you are printing the message updated successfully okay if not uh, fail to update record to the database so that's all about update function next you are having delete function delete function will delete the record from the table so you are just getting the product id from the user and then you are deleting that particular item from the 
table okay so here you are giving the option where pid that is product id is equal to the given value okay and then you are giving uh, printing the statement delete it and finally display message which is used to display all the records in your table okay so that's all um, the program gets over here and you are calling menu function now let us run this program and see how it is working i'm just pressing f5 now the first option add record product number i'm giving 1001 product id find out one product name um i may be giving shirt and then price of the product is 250 stock available 500 numbers okay value inserted now number two update record okay so product id so product id is 501 product number is different product id is different okay product id is 501 and then price to be changed already i have given 250 now i'm changing it to 300 update updated successfully now i'm just using number uh let uh, let let me give a uh, number four before that so that uh, it will be displaying all the things so all these are all the things i've already add, added it seems okay so it is displaying all the message and at that last we have our uh, data which we inserted now okay so i'm just selecting any one product id for deleting okay so number three delete record i'm just giving the product id record successfully deleted okay so now let us display it once again so you will not be will not be able to see that particular record which 350567 okay it is not available in our table so that's how it's work and when you press 5 it was just closing the program you wanted to continue or not i'm just pressing in it just came out from the program so that's all hope you understand this program we'll meet you in another video thank you happy learning